Shake it. Andy Teach is with us here from FLIR Systems, and he is joining us for Showstoppers here at CES 2008. Um, we've been, just been chatting a little bit, uh, Todd, of course, with his military experience. I, had, I was astounded to come in here and see FLIR because I think of that from a government or industrial uh, right. uh, fault inspection, and yet you're a consumer electronics show. Help, help me understand. Well, Andy, it's actually our first stop at the CES show, but we have established a division within FLIR we call the Commercial Vision Systems Group, and it's focused on taking what was really essentially a military technology and bring that technology into the consumer market space. So we're, we've got several different products here that we're showing, five different market segments that we're profiling here tonight that are essentially consumer applications where this technology, the price is coming down and we're bringing it out to the consumer. Which one, let's walk over here, what, which one do you think is going to be the first to, uh, to gain market acceptance? What's your personal favorite? Well, uh, uh, let me answer the, the, the second question first, which is my personal favorite, and, and that's this product here, which is called the Mariner. Uh, and this, I'm sorry, this one is the Navigator. Uh, this product is a product that's designed for boaters, and essentially it turns night into day for boaters. So if you've ever been out boating at night and you know what it's like to be out past sunset and then you've got to drive back in with your expensive boat, this takes the worry out of that equation. Right. Sure. Sure. So it's a thermal imager that operates with no light whatsoever. And in the case of a boating application, it allows you to navigate safely, to avoid floating debris. And God forbid if you have somebody go overboard, it's very easy to see someone that's in the water with one of these thermal imagers because of the big thermal contrast between a person and the water temperature. Oh, surely. And, and I see that this appears to be a battery-powered unit? It is. This is a product we call the Flash Sight, and uh, it is a AA-powered unit, runs for eight hours off of AA batteries. It has the ability to store images here, so it stores standard JPEG image files. And it's a unit that would be used by anyone from a homeowner through a security officer all the way on through uh, into law enforcement. So again, it's a zero lux thermal imager, sees through smoke, light fog, can see people hiding in bushes and so forth. Yeah. So that would be a lot of peace of mind that would be uh, involved for, the, for that property owner. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Yeah. What else do we have over here? Well, you asked what market has taken off the fastest, and, uh -huh. and I'm gonna move over to this product here which is a unit called the Pathfinder. And what the Pathfinder is, is it's a thermal imager that's designed for automotive applications. Ah, wow. Our big customer here is BMW. So I'm sure you own a BMW 7 Series <laughs> at home, Andy, right? Well, this is a $2,200 option in the 5, 6, and 7 Series BMW really? vehicles. Yeah. Came out in 2006, and we display the thermal image on the multifunction display along with the G GPS. And the real take-home point here is it allows you to see five times further than your high beams. Mm -hmm. So if you live in a rural area where there might be animals and, or people jogging alongside the road, this is a very powerful tool. Well, I uh, live in a, in a small town in the Midwest, and uh, deer strikes are a real, real problem. Indeed, and, and, and we've got a lot of sample video running here of what, what deer look like, but you can actually see a deer at about a mile with one of these cameras at night. Wow. Wow, that's outstanding. So, so what are your, your hopes here for, for exhibiting at the show the first, uh, first time? Well, you know, as I mentioned, this is a military technology that's gone commercial. And we're very much following the same path of GPS. You know, the first GPS systems back in the late 80s cost $150,000. Yeah, absolutely. And we're headed down that same curve where volumes are going to go up, prices are going to come down, and we believe that, that someday your cameraman's going to be using a camera that has a thermal imager in it as well. So you can do this if the lights go out. <laughs> yeah. So now where could people, is it just FLIRSystems.com? Is that the, uh, uh, the web address? Yeah, we're, we're sold through literally thousands of outlets today, but, but FLIRSystems.com is the parent company. It's where you can go learn about the technology and then find a, uh, an installer for the application of interest. Now, so your $2,200 price point, is that, uh, is that pretty typical for your entry-level systems? The systems are a little bit higher when you're buying them from direct from us because we're packaging them with a power supply and a display, so they're about $3,000. 
Um, the 2200 is, is the option in the BMW, so you got to pony up to the 80K for the car first, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess so. I tell you, if this rides the same curve, the GPS, this is going to be wonderful. Well, our, our moniker for our company is Infrared Everywhere, and we really believe that it's going to happen. That's great. Andy, thanks very much. My pleasure. Kick it.